jamani naona vitu vinatembea social media yani najibu kwa comment hapa na hapa na kule but let me tell you something hakuna mtu mwenye anaweza kufanya promo ya show for one month nikajibeba nikawacha watoto wangu biashara vitu vyangu vyote nikawacha kwanza hapa ni mbali mjue mbali nitoke huko nifike hapa nifanye show ya kwanza sijalipa alafu nanambia asubiri ta fanya hivi na hivi and i'm going to be okay with that kama huwezi kulipa mtu tafadhali mwambie naomba dadangu nitakufanyia visa nitakunulia ticket nitaka nifanye show na mimi nipate kitu kidogo tutafanya hivi na hivi then i will see if i want to come or not lakini kunitoa kwangu alafu naambia zari taongea ukifika hapa nitakulipa alafu nafika unaniambia oh subiri subiri mimi nikikataa kutoka kuingia show ya pili and then you saying oh zari amenifanyia vibaya i think you're playing victim here and stop going around tarnishing my name when you know exactly what happened you know what you failed to pay kama huwezi Alafu wewe hapo unaweza kuniona unaniharibia mimi. Mimi huniharibii because kwanza cha kwanza kabisa mimi I am self made. Wewe ni promoter you still need to bring other artists. You need to do other shows. The way you are doing your things unashinda kunilipa alafu unasambaza passport yangu na na mume wangu. Alafu unasambaza chat si una you know professionally I don't think there's anybody else who wants to work with you. It's not even about me. Yaani watu kabisa wataogopa kufanya kazi na wewe that you should know mimi uniharibi mimi na jina i built my name wewe bado you get, getting into this games you unajaribu games you you don't know how to do it unajaribia u, don't even sit there thinking ona maribia zari watu wataogopa kufanya kazi na wewe okay sasa so, unachukua chati o oh, eti nilikuomba unisaidie kununulia mume wangu ticket stick kuomba hizo nilikuwa hela zangu that you were going to pay me yani ulikuwa unaenda kutumia hela yangu kumnunia sasa ifike kuingia show mimi sijalipwa tulifanya Saturday sikulipa unanipa story unanipa story na kwambia mpaka saa saba usiku na mwambia basi hela za Saturday nitapata kesho lakini naomba nipewe hela za nini hela za jana Friday saa saba mpaka inaingia saa tisa asubuhi like saa tisa alfajr i think it's alfajr like 3 am asubuhi Klabu inafunga saa kumi. Saa tisa na nusu. Unaenda sijui wapi unakusanya kusanya vu pesa huko chini unaniletea kama maskini. Unaniletea hizo pesa kama maskini. Alafu unani force na attitude mbaya sio sio kwa vizuri zari. Ebu maybe pesa zangu ziko kwa account ama imekuwaje unanielezea kama mtu tukabakubaliana. Okay, I'll come and do it. Umekusanya vu pesa huko chini umekuja unanipa attitude nikasema like seriously una treat like no bitch i've been in this country mimi wala siku sio sio like i'm bragging or anything nishakuwa huko mara nyingi mpaka hii kwanza hii country hii country ni it's old hii country ni nzee mwenzangu like there's nothing tena kukuja hapa mimi naenda dubai i don't wanna lie to you dubai is like the eat place unaona sasa mtu anakwambia oh sijui nini mimi kuja hapa i've been here there's nothing that i want here lady nana kwambia kabisa there's nothing that i want here mimi nishakuja hapa na watoto wangu walikuwa wanachezea manchester soccer academy i think we used tulikuwa kwa ndege sana tunakuja hapa google it it's here sasa we hapo naona no bitch you don't know who you're talking about ebu fanya kidogo ni google and and uk google zari and london and my trips Nilikuwa nalala huko Mabolach. Tiso Mabolach Google. Tunakaa one way tunalipa 5000 pounds. Na hizo that that time 5000 pounds mwenzangu just to sleep in a hotel. Bitch I've had money for a long time. I'm I, I'm old. Dada, I am old money. New money ndio hawa watu wanapiga piga vidil alafu wanaingilia kwenye social media wanajifanya old na hela nyingi. I, I am old money. Old money ndio watu wenye wamekuwa na hela for a long time and they maintain that status for a long time miss yo mtu wa kuona leo eti kuna something uk ni babaike sana and all that i came at a ku- not getting paid is because you spoke to me like a sister zari njo ukifika nitakulipa i'm like ah huyu mtu namjua you know like i know you as a sister and kasema nikifika we will talk Mimi you can ask the people that have worked with nimekuwa elements ku ile ask them the management of element my manager couldn't let me leave south africa without payment wa ulize lakini i was like no gaston let me go like that's my sister i know that girl i love us even you're nanifanyia hivi you're all over the place running around for interviews unatumatuma watu watu wanitukane for what 
itakuwa tu umesahau who you are dealing with wallahi umesahau you who you are dealing with i am not new money huwezi ku fail kunilipa and let me tell you something kabisa what she didn't tell you what she didn't tell you nilimpa red card yangu akaniambia zari i'm your sister is all hell i can afford akaniambia nisaidie tu because i'm trying to get into this game yani wakiona nimeleta mtu kama wewe like it will grow my cv akasema oh ladina memleta zari you know it's big akaniambia i'm like it's fine i will come i will come nikamfanyia nikakuja sasa hivi nakuona nakimbia hukuma interviews juu wapi na wapi mimi i've slept in some of the best hotels in this country and that is tangu miaka like until now i'm still keeping my status unaniweka in a service travel lodge where truck drivers and bus drivers are sleeping to rest so they can continue their journeys and this one mimi nakuachia kama mkubwa wako nakuachia kama mkubwa wako we can only grow if we learn to accept our mistakes ukikubali makosa like nimekosea hapa na hapa na hivi hapo you can grow lakini wewe kila saa ukijionaga wewe ndio wewe uambiwi kitu you always right or you don't own up to your mistakes or you not even sorry or you don't even apologize you cannot grow you cannot grow ayo yote imatokea kwenye club because ulinipa attitude unaletea pesa umetoa huko chini unaletea attitude alafu you just throwing that money on bed i'm looking at you my husband is like no Nikaambia kina Rayvan and Gigi Money guys na Luwish nikaambia you know what you guys go just go and do this this has nothing to do with you mimi na kawa telini but you guys go wakatoka siku i didn't refuse anyone wallah kasam ask um, nani huyu Ray and Luwish i told them go duniani hakuna mtu mwenye anayejua yote hakuna mtu mwenye akili nyingi sana ndio maana hata maraisi wanakuwa na presidential advisors Yaani anaweza ku, ku rais anaweza kusema no Russia is coming for us let's hit my presidential advisor akamwambia if you hit India itatokea matatizo so what i'm trying to say that if kungekuweko problems we would have sat down and discussed it because for me the only reason si kutoka in my room it's because there was no payment there was no payment nilifanya show ya kwanza alafu ya pili nikajua tu after ya pili tukifanya kesho nitapata story itaishia hapo hapo But if you had sat to me kutoka South Africa to say Zari I don't have money I cannot afford you but I want you to tell me as a sister maybe ningesema basi unamuingiza mwanaume kwa mume wangu kwa vitu vya kijinga siku siku kuomba it was my money that you were buying his tickets maybe part of a... sasa wenye mnaingilia hii vita kama hamnielewi unajua kwa kizungu wanasemaga kuna three sides of the story kuna her side kuna my side na kuna the truth okay sasa so wenye wanaingilia mnataka tu kuropoka because you want likes na ma followers na wenye wanatukana nishawaambia there is no new word dictionary haijatoa matusi mapya ndio yale yale nothing new so mukiingilia is the vita sometimes you need to understand which war are you going into i'm not sure chat mnani chim Yaani sometimes unasemaga sometimes mtu ukiwa utumia akili watu wenye akili ndogo wanachosha wanachosha I'm telling you so that is what happened mimi sikulipwa nimetoka kuacha watoto wangu biashara zangu kila kitu nafika hapa mtu anambia there is no money i could have done so much in south africa own businesses mtu ana promise alafu nafika hapa kuna stories what would you do ungefanya nini wewe mimi hapa kwani i don't like this country it's old hapa ni pazee Inafika saa saba mtu haja kulipa saa tisa Anakuambia nipe account yako. Nipe account yako nikuweke hela. Kwani vile nimetoka South Africa hizo siku zote hukujua I had to be paid hukujua. Ulijua. Nikakusaidia tukafanya show ya kwanza. The first thing asubuhi ungenitafuta kuniambia unajua zari tunaenda show ya pili lakini hizi hela zako vile tuli nini kubaliana. Hizi ndio hela basi twende zile zingine nitakupa next day. Hiyo ndio kuongea na watu because you know maybe you are struggling somewhere because I don't know maybe she was struggling somewhere. Unaambia nishalipa pesa zako vibi wewe umenipa pesa zako ziko kwenye account. Nipe account yako nikuweke. Hivyo hivyo just like that. Mimi sina account hapa. Na ningekupa ya South Africa ingechukua muda to reflect. Kali unanipa attitude umetoa uko hela sivyo pesa ngapi uko chini alafu unanitupia it's not even enough for the first 
Na hiyo hela kusema niweke account. Alikuwa hajaniambia amelipa. Nimekataa kuja chini ule mwenye VBO lounge boss alikuwa ameshamlipa. Maskini ametushindikiza mpaka kwa hiyo show ingine it's not even his club amewacha kazi zake akatushindikiza. Sasa anakuja juu hoteli yao in my room to ask Zari what is the problem bona ushuki. Nikamwambia mimi sijalipa hela ya jana. Akanambia a a nimemlipa boss akantolea screenshot. Anaitwa Victor amentolea screenshot akasema nimempa hiyo hiyo that night Friday. Nikasema sasa kama wamekulipa hela yangu ya VBO kwa nini huku nipo na nipa attitude? Ninazo kwenye account nitakuwekea. Heaven na. Heaven. Yani <laughs> I'm speechless. I don't even know. I don't know what to say. Lakini tunatoka VBO asubuhi tunarudi tulale kilo, kidogo ndio twende Birmingham kule Kings of Clubs. Dada anataka kutupeleka kwa Uba. Uba zile mbaya ndogo ndogo. Sio hata hizi Uba extra sijui nini, zile mbaya. Sasa huyu VBO boss Victor amesikia hiyo kitu akasema what? Sorry, you guys are traveling in a Uber to go to Birmingham. That's like three hours away. Masa matatu. He was like, "No, it's not possible." Katoa Tesla yake, katoa Range Rover, katoa GLE. Ametupa gari tatu and nakwambia He didn't do it for Lady Na. He's like, "Zari, we respect you so much. How are they going to put you in a Uber?" Ndio nasema, "Ukiwa huna hela, speak to people. Waelezea hapa siwezi, hapa naweza, hapa naomba, munisaidie ebu Zari tushikane dada yangu naomba tushikane hapo." Me I have friends here. Ningawapigia simu wakatletea gari. Ametupa gari, ameweka petro, kila kitu amelipia. Tumefika Birmingham. Birmingham tukakutana na ule bosi wa, wa Kings of Club. Inaonekana ule bosi hata hajui chochote. Itakuwa amemlipa ame na na hakusema. Hajui chochote. Tumemsalimia yuna restaurant maskini he has banned to restaurant we we tukamsalimia tukasema basi wacha twende hotelini kidogo tujitayarishe tupumzike basi. Sasa yeye anashangaa muda umefika Zari ashuki because he doesn't understand what's going on. He doesn't understand. Uyo ndo boss wa wapi wa Kings of Club. Sasa bado tuko na boss wa VBO Victor. Ameshinkiza mpaka last is like Zari. The way she, Zari, Lady Night is not organized. I'm deciding me and my team we're gonna come to Birmingham because the owner of the other club is our friend. Amewacha club yake inafanya kazi Saturday. Si tulikuwa Friday. Amewacha club yake Saturday anatushindikiza because ameona things are disorder. Imeisha uyu boss wa VBO akaturudisha London toka Birmingham akaturudisha akatuchukua dinner ametuchukua club jana he took us out I'm, he really took care of us Gigi hajaambia ukweli Gigi amefika airport for five hours ameka airport five hours hakuna wa kum, kumtoa airport akanipigia simu uh, and she was so mad akanambia huyu demo amenitupa hapa hakuna mwenye masaa matano wewe unajua kukaa airport five hours inchi yenye ujui mtu maskini Gigi amekaa pale amefika hotelini sijui amelala one night second night amepelekwa kwa Ledina amelala coach in a sofa Gigi hajawambia Akanipigia Zari do you know nimetoka huko nimelala kwa sofa kwa Ledina. Revani story yake nyingine. Luwish hakulala ile hoteli. Sasa hapo mimi ndio nashangaa mtu yote hiyo tumevumilia. Yote tumevumilia. And you still have the audacity. Kutoka mitandaoni social media kuanza kunisema mimi vibaya. Kweli kabisa wewe ndio umekosea. Na sisi the help we got mimi the help I got from VBO lounge is because of the respect he has for me. Wewe unaweza kuwa uoni muhimu wangu. You don't see my value, you don't see my worth. Lakini bosses they saw my worth and you wouldn't know you're not a boss. You wouldn't know. But the boss is so oh my god is Zari the boss lady. How is she going to travel in a Uber? How is she going to sleep in a travel service um, hotel? They took care of us. I appreciate Victor, the owner of VBO. That man has a golden heart. He has a golden heart. Please own up your mistake. Grow. Grow, own up your mistake and apologize when it's necessary. Don't run around. 
Jamani namalizia na hii. Mimi sio mwanamke wa kwanza kutoka na mwanaume mwenye nashinda umri. Sio mwanamke kutoka na mwanaume mwenye nashinda umri na sio wa mwisho. Sio wa mwisho. Madada zenu wa mama zenu wanatoka na vibenteni. Mama zenu na dada zenu na rudia wanatoka na vibenteni. Yaani kifikaga tu kwa zari. Kila kitu kinakuwa ishu. Utazani mimi ndio mzee wa kwanza umeona. Kwani Tanzania hakuna wazee? 42 kabisa imekuwa ishu ni ishu ni mzee ni mzee basi ni mzee. Mimi ndio mzee wa kwanza hamjawahi kuwa na wazee. Vibabu wenye wanatoka na wasichana 18 20 Yaani mwanaume 70 anatoka na 16 hamsemi mama zenu wanatoka na dada zenu wanatoka na yani zari ya yeah. such a disgrace